No, he was good. I mean, we talked about the first inning, right? The first inning he came out and he threw, he threw the ball really well. Uh, and then he had one, one inning where the, he just got the ball up a little bit. Um, so, um, you know, we, we tried to get him out of that inning. You know, he, just, he, couldn't, he couldn't get He threw one, one uh, change it right down the middle. It cost him a couple of runs. Um, but overall, I thought, he, I thought he threw the ball game. Pitch, pitch count got up there, you know. So, but, um, yeah, he was attacking the, he was attacking the zone. Um, sometimes, you know, he, tr- he was trying to make that finished pitch. He couldn't get it, you know, couldn't get it over, and he got, got in deep counts. You had talked about the first inning specifically. What do you think he was able to do to slow things down like you had hoped he would do? Yeah, you know, I think the key was the first out. You know, getting that first out right away um, got to slow him down a little bit. So, um, and that was good. So now we got to get him to repeat that every inning. James is a very patient hitter. Is there a line there for him to figure out between being patient versus being a little more aggressive? Yeah, you know, he today he had a rough time on, you know, um, I don't know how to put this, but um, some of our at bats, you take a look, take a look at some of the pitches. He got called strikes. He couldn't do nothing about it. But when you got a when you got a, a a chance to win a ball game like that, I'd rather see him swing the bat and take 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 a strike like that. Um, but he's you know, he, he's going to be patient. You know, sometimes you know with two strikes, he's got to learn how to expand the strikes on just a little bit. You know, and try to try to either foul the ball off to get to the next pitch, or really try to you know bear down, hit that ball, get that ball in play. Is that a difficult adjustment to make to be less patient in the ninth for, for Ricky to do that? It's not even in the ninth. It's just any time he's up there. You know, he's in a position driving runs for us. I want to see him driving runs, you know. Um, you know I know, I know you know, he's been working his walks. Uh, but like I said, when he gets the ball where he, he thinks he could drive, uh, I want to see him let it go. Going back to DJ for a minute, what do you want him to take from having gone through a day that could have been really high emotions? But he was able to get through it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow, and, I th- and I'll tell him hey, I thought he did a great job of, of really staying in the moment. And um, so, you know, we'll get, you know, he's got five days to get ready to do it all again. Six days because we had day off. So, um, but you know, I really like the way he's throwing the ball right now. I really, really am. So uh, we'll get him back out there and uh, be ready to go again. The Millis play is that one where he'd be better off running towards the. He, he should. He could have ran him all the way back to second, and then uh, and then flipped the ball. I mean, I, you know, I, I think I go back, but when I saw him where he was at to throw the ball, I mean, I know he was running pretty hard to get to second base again. Um, yeah, the big thing is that he didn't line his feet up to throw the ball. He kind of threw it off balance this way, uh, and that to me was the biggest thing. Trying to trying to stretch a double there, and then CJ getting caught stealing. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, you? I mean, you think about what that center fielder did. I mean, he ran all the way left center field, made, made a heck of a play. Um, perfect throw, but that's the only way to get him. CJ was actually safe until he slid off the base. So um, people talk about a base running. I mean, that's, that's how we play. Um, nobody talks about the days we steal six, six bases. You know, it seems like everybody talks about when we don't make it. You know, but, uh, this, you know, I, know, I know it's been 50-50 here lately. Um, but that's that, you know we're going to play aggressive. I mean that's the way we play. So uh, sometimes we're going to win win that battle. Sometimes we're going to lose that battle. Uh, you know, but you know, he, like I said, if he stays on the base, he's safe. To see Dylan come up firing the way he did from right field and his first chances really had to do something like that. That was that was awesome. That was that was a really good throw. I mean the ball hit the ground and skid. It was a perfect throw. Um, I thought Millis did a great job putting the tag on too.